Hi, I'm Ashley from The Loopy Lamb, and thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to change colors doing the corner to corner stitch. Okay, so today we're talking about changing colors in corner to corner, and I've already started a swatch, and I've started uh, round five here, or row five here, and I'm going to change uh, from blue to the color green here, uh, and I'm going to show you how we do that. And for this tutorial, I am using a worsted weight yarn um, Burnett Premium in the color sky blue, and Burnett Premium in spring green, and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So, um, as you can see, I've completed my first cluster of row five here, and now I want to complete the next three clusters in the color green. So to do that, I'm going to create a slip knot and you can either change your color in the last yarn over of the stitch or I like to do it on the slip knot or, or slip stitch. So I'm going to put my yarn into the chain space of the next cluster like I'm going to do a um, slip stitch and then I'm going to grab my green yarn the slip knot and place it onto my crochet hook and then I'm going to pull that through the chain space and through um, the blue loop to create my slip knot, okay? And so I've, it's hard to see, but I've, you take your blue yarn and just um, put it between the um, f front and the back um, of the working yarn here. So then that way it gets caught in there and you don't, uh, it doesn't unravel. So I'm going to do my next block in green by chaining two, so yarn over, through the loop, yarn over through the loop, and there's my chain two. And then I'm going to uh, place three double crochet stitches into the chain space. And I'm going to crochet over my tails in the back here um, to help keep them secure. So we're gonna yarn over into the chain space, yarn over through the chain space, yarn over through the first two loops, yarn over through the last two loops, completing the stitch. And we'll do that two more times. And just a reminder that each little tile uh, or double crochet cluster um, is comprised of a chain two, or um, sometimes you might see it as a chain three, and three double crochet stitches. So there is our first green um, double crochet cluster and we're going to continue with that color until the end of the row and then I'll show you how to change back to blue for the next uh, row. Okay so to continue along in the green we are going to slip stitch into the next the chain space of the next cluster to join our work together and then we're going to chain up two so yarn over through the loop yarn over through a loop, there's your chain two, and then we're going to place three double crochet stitches into that same chain space. So here's one, two, and three double crochets. And to do our next uh, cluster, we're going to slip stitch into the neighboring cluster into the chain space and then we're going to chain up two. So yarn over through the loop, yarn over through the loop, there's your chain two, and then three double crochet stitches into that space between the chain and the double crochet, which I keep referring to as the chain space. So there's one double crochet, two, and three. 
Okay, so the, now you see that we have in uh, row five here, we have one blue stitch and three green uh, cl uh, double crochet clusters. So um, for example purposes, this is a uh, corner and so we are going to continue decreasing onto this side, but I want this stitch here, our um, cluster here to be a blue stitch. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we are going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, so we've got the back of our work here. And we are going to place a slip stitch into each of the, the tops of the th double crochets of that last cluster we created. So slip stitch one, two, and on our last slip stitch, we're going to switch over into the blue. And so there's me here, I just forgot to grab my scissors. And we're going to trim that blue, create another slip knot, and we are going to finish that slip stitch with the blue yarn. Okay, pull that green yarn top. And now we're going to continue up this row, uh, this row with the blue yarn. So sorry, the, little, the tails can kind of make it confusing, but um, I'm gonna cut the green so you can have one less tail in the way. So the blue is our working yarn here, and we are going to create um, blue clusters up the side. And so we're going to chain two, and then we're gonna place three double crochets into the chain space here of the last double crochet cluster. So one, two, and three. Then we'll slip stitch into the next cluster to join and then we'll chain up two and repeat the same sequence of three double crochet stitches into that chain space. So I'll turn this over so you can see. Um, so the more color changes you see in a project, um, the more tails there can be. Um, you could crochet over them, uh, especially if you have similar colors, um, but um, if you have contrasting colors, um, it might be hard to hide those tails um, in the back, so there might be additional tails to be working in. But as you can see, uh, we now have the three green clusters, and we've started this row again with the blue. Okay, and that it's that easy. That's how you change colors in corner to corner. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you like free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylamb.com. Thanks again for watching, happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.